This is called a shadow blister, and despite what many online explanations will tell you, it has nothing to do with dynamic range or diffraction. But don't worry, I have the answer. Stick around and I promise by the end, it won't be surprising at all. So the shadow blister effect occurs when there is an extended rather than point-like light source. Think like the sun or a spotlight rather than a bare LED or incandescent bulb. Because the light source is extended, when it casts shadows, it creates an umbra and penumbra. The umbra is the dark part of the shadow, and the penumbra is the fuzzy, less dark part of the shadow. The umbra is caused by the object blocking all the light from the entire surface of the light source, whereas the penumbra is caused by the object only blocking part of the light from the light source. Again, this can only happen because the light source is extended rather than point-like. Now, to create a shadow blister, you need two objects casting a shadow, one closer to the light source and one further. Then, while keeping the same distance from the light source, move the closer one so that its shadow gets closer to that of the further one. This will make the umbra of the further one grow while its penumbra shrinks. Let me show you an example on a simulator. So here, we have two objects with an extended light source up above. The bottom object is further from the light source and the top object is closer. Now, for this demonstration, let's keep the bottom object in a fixed position. In this first configuration, there is no blister. The umbras and penumbras are completely separated. Now I've added two white lines connecting the furthest extents of the light source to the near corner of the bottom object. Notice that the line connecting the left edge of the source to the left edge of the bottom object forms the line that marks the edge of the umbra, and the line connecting the right edge of the source marks the penumbra. So if the top object goes between those two white lines, it'll block some of the light from the left side of the source, extending the umbra because the light won't be able to come in at such a shallow angle anymore. This should appear as the dark shadow extending out further from where it was. Let's see. Hey, so that's exactly what happened. I've now moved the top object further to the right, blocking some of the light from the left side of the light source. This makes the umbra of the bottom object bigger because there's less light coming in at that shallow angle that used to cause the umbra to angle in more. Notice how the umbra, the dark shadow, of the bottom object is now between the two white lines rather than aligning with the rightmost edge of the line connecting from the left of the source? That's the blister effect. The umbra of the object further from the light source grew. And notice that the umbra of the closer object didn't really change at all. Unfortunately, to properly see the bulging effect requires three dimensions rather than just two dimensions, because you need two-dimensional shadows rather than one-dimensional shadows. Here's a lovely animation from Wikipedia showing it from a few different angles. Notice how the umbra of the green rectangle overtakes the penumbra while the umbra of the blue rectangle doesn't change at all. And here's another gif of the same effect, this time with a ball and a rectangle. That wasn't so hard, was it?